So yeah, you're spreading out the layers in the top view, and then you're using maintain size to spread them out so that you don't have to redraw anything. But then you're going to add a camera as a separate entity, and then you're going to attach a peg to it, and then we're keyframing the camera move on the peg. So we want to pull a new view perspective and top. So this will this is our top view. And here's all of our layers. And we want to use oh, where is it? Maintain size. Yeah. So I'm going to pull this to the side. And we want to look in our camera view. And start moving all these things back. So here's our moon. Here's our house. Right, so nothing's changing yeah. in our camera view, and that's the whole point of using maintain size. Um, the hill is in front of the cam or in front of the house. Um, okay, this is our middle ground. Okay, and then the bats. Let's try leaving the bats where they are. Yeah. So if we go to perspective now. Where's the rotation? Oh, here, here, here. It's inside yeah. the hands tool. All right. So this will let us see where we spread everything out. Right. It doesn't add keyframes. It's just purely for view. Um, so now let's extend the exposure. Like F5. All right. We'll add a camera. We have to add a peg to the yeah. camera. All right, we have to go to toolbars, window, toolbars. Does it have to be attached to the layers as well or no? Nope. No? OK. Tools display. Here it is, and then display all. Then let's go back to peg. Add a peg. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. And then we'll keyframe the peg. Now we can do that. And then we'll use our advanced animation tools here to yeah. then position. So here's my peg. We'll go to the end. And then it's best to just grab the axis, mm -hmm. like one axis at a time. One axis at a time. Yep. So just the blue. And then in this view, let's grab this Y axis, right? Yeah. And then let's keep going in on the Z axis. Oh, I didn't draw the door, but let's say it's here, right? And then let's say like this. the door's right there. Yeah. Yeah. So now, and how would you say that I could transition from that to then tilting upwards? Is it the same artwork? The way I was thinking was that I could just copy the same door like that same cut of the door mm -hmm. and then do it in a different do it yeah. in a different and then you and would it up. you would add like a little dissolve to hide that transition in right. that's usually how it's done i guess we could continue the camera move from here because tilting up is um there's a setting that we have to enable yeah. um before i get there let's just do the bats right right so the bats kind of swoop in around this point, let's say, mm -hmm. around frame 15. So 
we can just keyframe this layer directly. So let's extend all of this F5. And then we'll use the transform tool to move the bats around. Oh, nope. We want to we want to use these advanced tools. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll move oh, it. I see. And yeah, maybe we'll push it back a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna undo that and let me try let me try moving it with the maintain size too. Okay. I mean, yeah. this is yeah, yeah. Helpful, that, that right? definitely gets there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll just, yeah, it'll be some combination of this. Now it's letting me just scale it down. Yeah. All right. So we have this keyframe. So we'll. Okay, so it should be in front of this tombstone. Okay. Wow, that looks much better. <laughs> yeah. So in order to do a tilt up, okay, so we'll go to the peg. I double click the icon so I get the layer properties. And then it says enable 3D rotation. Turn on quarter neon close and use the rotation tool. Oh. And let's see. So it looks like we're animating the rotation on the camera peg so in here let's go to the end and just rotate that x axis okay all the way up this and could it do that like looking up but also almost almost pushing out at the same time okay yeah we can do that let me fix this because this should be a motion keyframe. Motion. Right click. Motion. Oh, what's going on? Okay, so here's you know how in After Effects, right? You can twirl down yeah. the attributes on each layer and then you see each individual attribute, each individual parameter. Yeah. So based on that, it looks like the one we just set, uh, there's only one that exists. Oh. Yeah, and actually now these keyframes have moved everything. So let me undo those keyframes. And then what we're gonna do is make sure that we're keyframing the exact attribute mm -hmm. that we want. So um, let's add one here. So when I made those keyframes before, by rotating yeah. the X axis, I noticed that it was putting a, a keyframe on these two attributes. So I'm right. just selecting them and then now I'm locking Now you it can move it, yeah. Place. Yeah, and then let's try moving it here. Um, let's go back to our rotation tool. So now, oh, you could tilt down. Yeah, there we go. Now we have that. All right. Oh, right. So you want it to back up just a little bit? I think so, right? Like at the full frame of the house. Okay. So you would, I think you might want to keyframe the position then. Or do you think that's that's also more effective? Just like going all the way up? It depends what you envisioned. Yeah. So we could do like this. Uh, 
kind of. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah. So instead of scale, do position. Position, okay. Because it looks like it's scaling, but virtually, right? We have virtual 3D. So we're not scaling anything. We're just moving away moving to it. Away. The camera. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see. 